In this problem, we're being asked to solve this exponential equation, 4 raised to the 2x minus 1 power equals 64, both algebraically and graphically. We'll begin by solving it algebraically. In order to solve an exponential equation uh, algebraically, we need to rewrite both sides of the equation with a common base. We see the base of the left-hand side is 4, so ideally, if we can rewrite 64 as 4 to some power, we'll achieve that goal. So let, let's take a look at some possibilities. So we know 4 to the first is 4. And if we multiply 4 times another 4, we would get 4 to the second, which is 16. That's not it. So we keep going. 4 to the third, 16 times 4, gets us to 64. So we can see that we can rewrite 64 as a base of 4. So we'll come back to our problem, 4 to the 2x minus 1 equals, but instead of 64, we'll write or express it as 4 to the third power. Now we can notice that we have the same base, 4, and therefore we can set the two exponents equal to each other. So 2x minus 1 will equal 3. And now we're left with a very simple equation to solve, and we can do that in two steps. We'll start by moving the minus 1 with a plus 1 to both sides, and that'll get us 2x equals 3 plus 1, 4. And then we'll undo the 2 by dividing both sides by 2, getting us the solution of x equals 4. Two. So we've solved our exponential equation algebraically, and now we're going to verify that in one of two ways. First, we'll just replace the variable with the solution in the original problem. So we have 4 to the 2 times x, which is 2, minus 1, and we want to see does that have the same value as the right-hand side of 64. So we'll simplify this expression, working on the exponent, 4 times 4, doing the multiplication first, 4 to the 4 minus 1, and then 4 minus 1 gets us 3. And as we found before, 4 to the third power does equal 64, so we verified it algebraically. Now we're going to verify this algebraic uh, solution of x equals 2 by taking a look at the graph, graphically. So you'll notice in blue we have the graph of uh, 4 to the 2x minus 1, and in black we have the graph of y equals 64, the horizontal line. And we can see that they both cross at the point 2, 64. That's their common intersection point. And notice that the x-coordinate at that point is 2. So that's a graphical check of our solution of 2. 